Hey there, Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd fans. It's me, Dr. Grant. I just wanted to let you know that you're about to hear a classic voicemail episode of the Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd. Now, the voicemail number mentioned on the show no longer works, but we thought you might get a kick out of hearing these old episodes anyway. Please don't call that number because, well, it doesn't work anymore. But other than that, enjoy the show. Hey everybody, this is Dr. Grant from the Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd. Uh, and this is Dr. Floyd from the Radio uh, Adventures of Dr. Floyd, Dr. Floyd, what's the matter? Uh, I'm really tired, Dr. Grant. Why are you so tired? Well, last night I watched this movie. It was the most horrifying movie I've ever seen, and I've been having nightmares about it all night long. And I just can't talk about it. Well, what movie was it? The Shining? Because no, that no, went all- no, 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 much more horrifying than that. I, I, can't, I can't talk about it. Uh, all right. Well, uh, anyway, folks, we're here to answer some more voicemail. Uh, people have called 818-332-3053 and left us some voicemails. So uh, let's listen to the first one, okay, Dr. Floyd? Yeah, that will be fine. Just not too loud, though. Hey, Dr. Floyd, it's me, Mitchell Burleson, Seth's brother um, from Clayton, North Carolina. I'm wondering what happened. To Dr. Duck. What? Something happened to Dr. Doug? No, Dr. Floyd, he's okay. He's yeah. all right. He is? Well, okay. Yeah, yeah, go over there and check. Okay, okay. Dr. Doug, are you all right? I'm fine. Why? Oh, I was just wondering. Good thing you're all right. Hey, make sure you put enough starch in those shirts, okay? Okay. Well, you're right, Dr. Grant. He's fine. Okay, now can we continue with the voicemail? Okay. I'm just a little on edge because of that movie. And won't ship... Ever find a friend besides the church? Um, bye. Um, I want you to answer my call. See you later. Oh, and, um, try to come out with some more, um, video podcasts. Yeah. Hey, thanks for the call. You know, Chips has a lot of friends. In fact, she's out with her friends right now. <gasps> she's out right now? Should she be out this late? Uh, Dr. Floyd, it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Oh. Okay, well, make sure she's home before the streetlights come on. Yeah, okay. And as far as video podcasts go, we're working on new episodes right now. Uh, Dr. Floyd, uh, how come you never return his calls? Uh, I'm just afraid to answer the phone. Uh, that movie really shook me up. Okay, here's the next voicemail. Okay, but not too loud. Uh, hi, Dr. Floyd. I just want to tell you that Dr. Steve's username is Dr. Floyd Stinks. So it's that uh, you stink. Uh, my name's Jack, and I live in Sydney, and I'm in Australia. I'm eight years old. I've got millions of episodes this year that my dad downloaded to get them. And, uh, you act, because you episodes actually got deleted from my dad's video iPod. I've got some classic clips, uh, so bye. Hey, what does he mean, Dr. Steve's username is Dr. Floyd Stinks? Well, that's Dr. Steve's username on eBay. Oh. Well, that's not funny. I'm going to make my own eBay username. It's going to be Dr. Steve is not the world's most brilliant scientist, and he's so evil, and my name is Dr. Floyd. Too long. Oh, well. You know, I just, I'm having trouble thinking ever since I saw that horrible movie last night. Was it Night of the Living Dead? Oh, no. Much worse than that. I, I'm too shook up. I can't even talk about it. Huh. All right. Well, here's the next voicemail. Okay. Not too loud. Hey, uh, I love your show. Yeah, yo, yo. Okay. Uh, so anyway, uh, what are you guys doing? You guys don't even have, like, something like, Hi, this is Dr. Floyd or something like that. Whatever, what the heck. Um, anyway, I'm listening to your podcast. It's the voicemail number 002, and it's hilarious. Oh my gosh, I love your voicemail. Uh, you guys need to come up with some more, and, uh, a lot more. So, um... Uh, uh, um... Uh, is she still there? Hello? Ah! Dr. Floyd! Dr. Floyd, are you oh, all right? I'm, I'm okay. all right. Hey, what? Who was that? Uh, I don't know. Let's hear the rest of the message and find out. Oh, and this is someone anonymous. I'm 11 years old, and I'm from, uh, Rancho Santa Margarita in California. Love you. Bye. Curses! Now we'll never know who it is. It was probably one of Dr. Steve's minions. Yeah, they really shouldn't jump out and say boo like that. I'm really shook up about that movie. Well, what movie was it? Was it Dracula? Oh, no, no, no. Much scarier than that. I, you know, I saw that on opening day. With Bela Lugosi? Yeah. Okay, here's our next voicemail. Not too long. I know. Okay. Hi, Dr. Floyd. This is Scotty, and... I always hear you guys playing voicemails about other people's birthdays and being invited to parties, and that's awfully nice of you. But 
What about your birthdays? When are they, and what would you guys consider the perfect birthday present? And I'd like to hear from Dr. Floyd, Dr. Grant, Chips, Fidget, and even, well, as much as I regret it, Dr. Steve. Eh, I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Hey, that was very nice of you to ask. Uh, my birthday's May 20th. Yeah, and my birthday's July 19th. What the... Hey, hey, Dr. Steve, hey. what are you doing here? Hey, presents? Oh, boy. I knew if someone mentioned presents, you'd come running. Get out of here, Dr. Steve. Ooh, but he wants to know about my birthday. Look, I'm going to give you to the count of ten to get out of here. All right, but before you get stuck, somewhere around six, I'll leave. Oh, man, I don't have time for this. I'm all rattled from that movie I saw last night. Oh, what, did you see a scary movie? Yeah, I had nightmares about it. What movie was it? Was it Phantom of the Opera? Oh, no. Oh, did you see that? No, I didn't see that movie, no. Oh, are you afraid of phantoms? No, 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 opera. And anything Andrew Lloyd Webber, it terrifies me. Oh, I know what you mean. Last year I went to see Cats, and I had nightmares All right, about... will you two please knock it off? Dr. Steve, leave. Oh, boy, you better leave, Dr. Steve. Fussy Britches has got his undies in a bunch. All right, I'll go. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Just give me a call. All right, I'll text message you. What does that mean? Uh, I'll give you a call. All right. Oh, uh, before I leave completely... Yes? My birthday is February 29th. Just send cash. Oh, brother. Fussy Britches, huh? Oh, it's just a term of endearment. Mm-hmm. All right, here's the next voice message. Uh, Dr. Grant? Yeah, I remember. Not too loud. Yeah. Hi, Dr. Floyd. This is Nathan. I am 12 years old. I just wanted to ask you a few questions about your show. First of all, we know that Dr. Steve stole your time and space travel device without your permission, of course. That's why he stole it. I was just wondering... Instead of chasing Dr. Steve around all over the place, why don't you just take legal action, hire a team of lawyers, dress them up in three-piece suits, and sue Dr. Steve in order to give back your time and space travel device and maybe get a bunch of money along with it. Hey, thanks for your call, Nathan. Actually, we thought of that, but then we decided that it would probably change the whole style of the show. Yeah, and not for the better. It's time once again for America's favorite judicial radio show, The Litigating Adventures of Dr. Floyd, brought to you by Court TV. As you remember, in our last episode, Dr. Floyd had just been called to the stand to be cross-examined by none other than his arch-nemesis, Dr. Steve, who in a brilliant stroke of genius had chosen to represent himself as his own lawyer. You swear to tell the truth, whole truth, nothing but the truth? I do. Yep. Dr. Floyd, is it not true that you... A lying? Well, no, I was not lying. And furthermore, is it also not true that you are indeed a liar? No, I've never told a lie. No more questions, ho- Your Honor. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, if it doesn't rhyme, I didn't do the crime. Thank you, Your Honor. Golly, I don't need to hear anything more. Thank you, Dr. Steve. That was an airtight argument. Hey, wait a minute. Don't you get to hear my uh, Quiet, Dr. Floyd, or else I'll hold you in contempt of court. All right, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you will now recess for five minutes and return with your guilty verdict. What's going to happen? Will Dr. Steve go free? Will Dr. Floyd be convicted? And will we ever find out the truth? You can't handle the truth! Find out next time on the litigating adventures of Dr. Floyd! This week's episode brought to you by ActionBailBonds.com. Who did you convict? Oh, yeah, that's not a good idea No, at not all. a good idea at no, all to take the no. show in that direction. No, we shouldn't no. do that, no. No. Well, I hope that answers all of your questions, Nathan. Yeah, I hope so, too. That was kind of scary, like that like that movie I saw last night. Yeah, that movie. What, was it Creep Show that you saw? Creep Show? No, that pales in comparison. This was the most horrifying movie ever. Oh, all right. Well, uh, here's our next voicemail. Shh. Keep it down. Brings me to my next question. In order to create all these wondrous and completely useful inventions that only someone with such a small head could possibly create. How do you get the money for all the raw materials needed to create your amazing inventions? Thank you. Once again, my name is Nathan. I am 12 years old. And goodbye. Oh, boy, he called back again. I thought we answered all of Nathan's questions. Well, I guess he just had one more. How did you make all your money, Dr. Floyd? Oh, I invested in the stock market. Oh, really? What stocks do you own? No, the actual stock market. I invested in it when they first built it. Oh, smart thinking, Dr. Floyd. Oh, yeah. All right, here's our last voicemail. 
Uh, you know, Dr. Grant, you can go ahead and play this one at normal volume. I'm over my anxiety. Oh, really? You're all good to go? Yeah, go ahead. Crank it up. Okay, here's the last message. I don't hear anything. Turn it up a little bit. Boo! Ah! Oh, boy, he's out cold. Well, folks, thanks for calling our voicemail line at 818-332-3053. If you have a question or comment you'd like to call in, please feel free to do so. Uh, kids, get your parents' permission first before you call. Uh, uh, Dr. Floyd, uh, Dr. Floyd, wake up, oh, buddy. Uh, where am I? You all right? You all right? Oh, I'm all right, I guess. I thought you were over your anxiety of seeing that oh, movie. It brought it all back. Oh, I see. Well, what, Dr. Floyd, what movie was it that you saw? I... I shouldn't tell you, but... Tell me. I can handle it. Tell me. What movie was it that you saw? Three Men and a Baby. Ah! Oh, Dr. Grant, wake uh, up. Dr. Grant. Uh, I'm sorry. I just thought about Steve Gutenberg's acting. Ah! Uh, Dr. Floyd. Dr. Floyd, wake up. Wake uh, up. Wake up. Oh, uh, I just thought about Ted Danson's hair. Ah! Oh, Dr. Grant, wake up. Wake uh, up. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh. What about Tom, Tom Selleck? Selleck? Ah!